Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So this was a special request by Seek, which I am about a week late, but you know, here we are today. So he asked us to react to some Dr. Noor analog horror. So I pulled up the page and I did I did um go to the first video and I watched 10 seconds of this. I'm like, this dude needs Jesus. He needs to go to church, man. All jokes aside, it looks freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and jump into Toe Starving Help. All right, I, I don't think it's actually Toe, but... He looks like a crusty toe. Bro, is he like trying to break out? What the heck even is it? Like, kind of look like Siren Head. Like he got the Siren Head build. All right, chill out, bro. You're about to break through the screen. Oh my, what did I just watch, bro? All right, so I came to the description of the video trying to see what this even was and there's no description. So what the heck, man? Let's see what the comments say. Say it's me when I'm in, in an aquarium and there's a fish I really like. <laughs> Bruh, the spider on my PS4 when I try to turn uh, God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, so let's move on to his second video um, titled, Has This Ever Happened to You? All the lights. Has this ever happened to you? I don't know, we're about to find it's out. It's getting dark outside. You're getting ready for bed. Grabbing a cold glass of water, and now you're turning off all the lights in the house. Do you feel that? Or maybe hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you oh, as yeah, soon as you I, turn off the lights? I'm grown now, bro. Well, we scared not. of nothing. We have a brilliant solution. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, why do you look like that? <laughs> there is nothing that follows you. After that, turn off all the lights in the house. Turn off all the lights in the house. That was a little weird. Turn off all the lights in the house. Alright, so how many of you guys think that whenever you turn the lights off in the house, there's something chasing you like right behind you and you start to run faster because it's just at the back of your head you're like bro there's something behind me because the lights are off and it's dark and scary i mean i used to think that when i was smaller but now that i'm older i turn back and i look at the demons man okay it says the urge to put this in a real vhs, VHS uh, tape and put it in the store well that's diabolical man oh thanks gosh i was about to um i was in doubt there was something following me when the lights were off I don't know, man. <laughs> that one thing in every SpongeBob episode. <laughs> that is true, man. <laughs> All right, let's go on to uh oh, the toe is back or T O E Love Dumper. Hello. Oh, it talks. I had no idea he can actually speak. What do you want? Considering he's not human. What do you want? I think he wants to break free. Please go away. Maybe he wants your toes. Please go away. Go. Oh no, bro. Nah, bro. That's when you get the rocket launcher, and you know. Oh, it actually broke through. His arms are like toothpicks. He got like Mr. Krabs arms. Oh. What you doing there, little bro? <laughs> bro, what is he doing? He's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> what? The body appeared untouched. I still want to know what the heck I'm looking at, man. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the comments got to say for this one. What do you want? Hello, yep. Pretty valid answer to me. That is pretty valid, bro. Okay, please go away, the most child dude in the world. The body appeared untouched. Every sitcom laugh combined. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's move on to oh, we're back. Okay, TOE making friends What does TOE stand for though? That's what I'm trying to figure out 
Time to rise and shine. Good children are up bright and early. Good children play pretend. That's kind of weird. What is that, like a little chickpea? I don't know, but he's getting beat up. Good children do not play with their food until it's all gone. Good children make friends. Okay, I think someone's child is getting beat up or something, bro. Oh, what? Is that a heart? Dominic999, Emily. For governmental per personnel. Oh, we're behind enemy lines right now. Hello, yo, what's up, man? It's been like forever. Okay. Seriously, though, I uh, thought you were dead or something. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friends. Yeah, you know, it's always weird to make an online friend. Like, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. Hey, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here and you can talk to me, man. Okay. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax. And you don't have to say nothing. But do you need something? Face call, please. Video call? Duh, bro, yes, that's what it means. It's like almost 1 a.m. Where, where I am, man. Whack time zones, remember? Please, now. Bro, he did say if you need something, let me know. And I was like, bro, come on, man. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, if I'm here, if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently, and it was whack. Okay, yes, face talk. Hey, no, seriously, I can't. Can't. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please let me friend. Please let me friend. Okay, then, uh, what's going on now? Seriously, are you all right, Dom? Please, 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 please. All right, something's definitely not right with Dom, uh, as we can see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Please. Not cool, man. What the heck? Okay, okay. Please just be as quiet as possible. Like, whisper. Yes. My mom's a light sleeper, remember? Starving. Help. Please. Oh, it's gonna be that toe thing, isn't it? Nah. Though I thought... Though I swear if this is a weird heckin' prank, hated those. They were never fun. Okay, bro. Oh. Incoming video chat request. I freaking knew it as a toe dude, man. Oh, he, he's in the, the nay nay, bro. None of this makes any sense. Everything inside was gone. Bro, why? That was so weird. What even is that? Like, why is there just a, a heart beating in a room like that? Like, I'm trying to make sense of this, but it's just oddly weird and I can't. Okay, um, let's see. Um, <laughs> let's see what the comments got to say. The thumper's lack of communication skills and sheer desperation is trying to convey, though, said rudimentary speech strangely makes me feel pity for it. Interesting. Okay, so either thumper is an actual child of sorts or is attempting to act like uh, what it thinks a child acts like. Either way, I think the approach of twisting the behaviors of a kid into something more sinister is an idea I rarely see in most horror stuff nowadays. I wonder if the rest of the videos will always have something to do with the good children. Slides at the start. Excited to see where this goes. Okay, so this is like a freakishly weird thing. I don't know, man. I love how the entity attempts to communicate. But there's uh, things like, please, 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 and starving dot help. <laughs> that is true, man. It is uh, very funny and weird. Okay, now... Well, let's move on to the boiled one phenomenon. Oh, this is a little longer. This is a 10 minute video. All right, we got a warning. Uh, the video contains elements that are known to cause child mouth to severe uh, con hazardous. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Christian Bible open to, oh, I don't got a Bible, bro. I have none of those things, so I'm toast, man. But I do got a. You know? Know what I'm saying? 
If something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and uh, turn to your pencil and paper. Write the following on the page. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't see the screaming of thousands. I can hear the feast. I am moving, breathing. I am a moving, breathing human on planet Earth. No evil shall befall you, and no plague shall come near you to your dwelling. After the... Oh, I can't. Bro, it moves too fast, bro. In the event you're required to uh, carry these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered. I didn't even say that word, bro. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. The boiled one phenomena. Right here it goes. August 13, 2003, Tree of Haven. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program uh, revolved around woodland plants. The star of the show and the narrator would talk about the woods, wonders of the nature the dangers of it, how to appreciate it. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Then something odd happened. On August 13, 2003, the episode 13 of the series began a rerun. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. Good morning, bushwhackers. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Poison oak. Oh. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. Yeah, you might want to stay away from and that. Here on we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets. Wait, why was it like offer, beep? No matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? His voice is like soothing. <laughs> Found primarily in deep North American woodlands. Poison oak has many different names and places of origin. Also referred to as the tree. That's of a lot of green. Can you imagine that? This is very in peaceful China out there. And Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s. It took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. During one of the interlude segments, an uh, anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. The broadcast depicted videos of a red-mounted face that spoke to the viewer. Oh, okay, so it might be that weird face we seen earlier. This face and its properties will be... As Fan228 spoke uh, clips of footage and even live camera feed, monitoring the hospital and bedroom. Bro, I can only read so fast, bro. Okay, so Fan228. That's what we need to focus on right now. Phenomenal broadcast duration. Been muffled, dampened. These alterations absolutely necessary to suppress hazardous attributes. All right, so we're about to. There you go. I'm trying to see. Make what he says, but the audio is like distorted, like altered. Dang, the broadcast will be here by reference to as broadcast 813. Broadcast 813 was viewed roughly by 530 residents throughout the uh, southern Pennsylvania area, and upon viewing, left many severely distraught. Anxiety, paranoia, fancy to a brought viewers to the other side effects that of your experience. Many viewers reported not being able to keep the images fan face out of their minds. Yeah, I mean, he did look pretty freaky. The victim requested to remain uh, anonymous, claiming that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Ew, that sounds juicy, bro. Okay, none of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of new whole species. Okay, so it's August 14 now. Let's see what this fan is up to now. After the anomalous frequency, Nurk was ordered. Uh, what the heck is Nurk? The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio. Of course, Ohio. Dang, blackout 2003, 50 million people were without power? That's insane. The 
getting news articles in the works. So they try to get rid of all the the broadcasts, the evidence. Human error and result of trees falling to a sack. Oh, okay. But the damage had been done. Twelve days after the broadcast was blocked from the air, a hysterical massive influx of a uh, yeah occurred throughout the state. <laughs> okay, it's a condition. It's anonymous, anomalous. One thing in common with all these patients that had been watching TV the night. Okay, so it definitely affected all these people. After victims out of this outbreak were able to speak, they were uh, able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. Many of these interviews held unveiling results that often led to more questions and many other held results that required archival or termination. Fairly late into the investigation, the EFRA branch was notified of a particular odd case revolving around Job Zamperini, an elderly victim, anonymous. Okay, so what's up with this guy? He's a war vet, fluent in Morse code. Okay. So he was definitely useful for this. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. Wait, why? Show his face. Why is his face blurred? Oh, okay, so Fen was in the back. Wear blue light glasses or view from a distance three feet or more. Oh, that thing is. Wait. Is he really that tall or is the house just small? Zamperini claimed that a horror button and holy was with him, with her, and possibly with others he described it was and what it was telling him. Yeah, I think it was demonic, bro. T. Gomez. Who's T. Gomez? Officer T. Gomez. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. I hope you're doing well today. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition and possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned? Ah, uh, come on, bro. Someone translate that. Okay, ask. first and uh, can't read most code. Did you Morse notice code? any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? Okay, maybe we'll see these answers in the comments right after. Face, huh? Hmm. When did you begin seeing this face? After the the broadcast. Any of the people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Nah, son. The broadcast messed me up. That's not Can what you're you saying, please bro. describe this face to me? Wait, did he say he's in the window? Horribly burnt, not of Lord Christ. I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I'm sorry to hear that. Me too. Are these screams constant? I'm pretty sure they were recurring. At night, before I sleep. Thank you. But Lord you Christ is with me. light on this is helping more... Bro, look at this. The, it says, I can see you. Dude, I knew I seen something at the edge of the bed. I saw a little spiky hair. Oh, man. R.I.P. Grandpa. Wonderful day. The miracle of birth. The fetal fanfare. And I can't read that because it's Japanese. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that was, bro. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sounds. The I hear the trumpets. Life will pour down onto us all. Together, we will be still. What is that? Together, a feast of food. Together, melded by love and purest connection, be still. If you can see the screen, it means it's not safe to continue viewing. The program will end shortly. 
Oh, I'm gonna keep viewing, bro. Protocol Brevita. No evil shall be far you, nor shall any play come near your dwelling. Okay. Oh man. So they were they were being real, bro. We can't see the rest, I guess. So um, let's see. Uh, you think the boiled one is bad? Wait until you meet his brothers, the grilled one, the roasted one, the sauteed one, the marinated one, the steamed one, the baked one, the microwave one, etc. I almost forgot the fried one. <laughs> but above all, fear the one who cooks. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Never ask a woman her age, a man, his salary, a Pennsylvania citizen. What did they watch on the TV in 2003? <laughs> the bold one destroying the entire world. Mordecai. Dude, Ben says... <laughs> Bro, they did a, a reference to a um, regular show. That's epic. All right, so this is the final and latest video by Dr. Nowhere, and it is titled The Boy and the Bath. The body remains unclean from the toils from yesterday. You are in no condition to sleep like this. Well, that ceiling fan looks a little dangerous. The shower will make you better. All right, this style looks a little different. Alright, so here we go to the shower. Because apparently we we are not cleaned. But it wasn't my fault. What are you talking about? Bro's in the trap house right now. Dude, he is super pale. Look at that hand. Oh, what? Dude, that looks like SCP-96. Why are you oh. Me here? oh, I don't know how to feel. I never adjusted to you. Bro, what the heck, man? Alright, so I guess we didn't shower. <laughs> I know you heard me. It was all your fault. No. What does he want? Oh, what? That's it? <laughs> no way. Alright, well, you know what? You know what to do. Let's go straight to the comments. Let's see, um, Theory, a mother or father left their baby in the bath and either out of neglect or of a desire to uh, be rid of the child, let them drown and now the ghost of the baby is haunting them. Oh, that is, a, that is a good one right there. Okay, this is one of my favorite types of horror, the sad type. The boy isn't there to kill you. He's only there to make you feel ashamed of yourself for neglecting and leaving him to supposedly die in the bathtub. The boy seemed to have wanted to attack but instead, he lectures you in a calm voice. The poor soul deserved better. Ooh. Ooh. You're getting deep, bro. Okay, the boy. Hello, how are you? I'm under the water. Please help me. Here, too much raining. Too much raining? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, a nice reminder of to never leave a child unattended near water. Especially those younger than three months because they can't hold their heads up themselves. This is exactly how I felt trying to shower after uh, being assaulted. Oh, dang, all right. Damn, man. All right, it's getting too real now. All right, 12. Uh, 12 at night, but you know we're still watching Dr. Nowhere. Yeah, luckily I'm not watching this at night because I'll definitely be seeing some stuff <laughs> after watching this. But, um, dude, uh, shout out to Dr. Nowhere. Videos were amazing. And by the way, this dude is 17 years old, which is uh, pretty insane. For this quality content he made. Um, shout out to Dr. Nowhere. I'll link the videos down in the description. So you can check them out if you haven't. So by yourself if you, if you like to. And yeah if you guys have any, um, any other recommendations. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll gladly check them out. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.